It's starting. Huh? Good morning or good evening. Whenever you're watching this, it's your boy Nunzi here and it's 9 a.m. and we are going to the gym. I start the day off very ritual based. Um, watch another video on my YouTube for my morning rituals, but the gym and training the body is essential. And today I'm gonna take you guys with me for a signature booty day. Um, posterior chain focused. So I get asked a lot how many leg days I train a week. I do two, but I break them up. So my first one is quad, it's anterior focused, where we focus more on squats and lunges. And then today is the more posterior focused, which is hammies and glutes. However, we hit glutes hard on both. So here we are at my home, Fitness World, Canby. Y'all know, let's get excited. Time to warm up, we'll see you in there. All right, so before any workout, it is imperative that we grab a foam roller. I spend about 10 to 15 minutes before each workout rolling out the muscles that I'm training. Today, we're hitting the booties and the hamstrings. If you are not doing this, you need to start. I'm just gonna leave it there. It is essential for muscle growth, recovery, repair, the whole nine yards, start foam rolling. Make sure when foam rolling that you spend more time on the desired muscle or the muscle training. I like to think of foam rolling as exploring with the body. It's your opportunity to find which muscles are responsive, and if so, work and spend time on those. Foam rolling is fantastic for muscle release. All right, let's get this party started. Before every posterior chain day, booty day, I do about 50 to 100 repetitions on this guy right here. This is just a great way to warm up the whole posterior chain before we get into our first big lift. So check it out because when you're hitting the booty on these, I'm not coming all the way up. When you come all the way up, you're hitting the lower back. So check this when you watch me when I do this. The glute hyperextension is a great piece for a warm up. I do 50 repetitions and really focus on engaging my glutes and my hamstrings to bring my body up. It's all about very staying low and not extending into the lower back. As you can see, I'm staying low and not extending into the lower lumbar at all. And all tension is on the glute. All right, baby, time to get the show on the road here. We've warmed up, we foam rolled, did my uh, extensions, so the peach and the hammies are warm. Now, dude, check out this machine. This is a really cool piece here we have at Fitness World Canby, love this place. It's a Smith machine, however, as you can see, it's hooked up so it can move around. So it's not locked in like that one, that's locked in. This one can move. So we're gonna perform a lot of the big lifts. So we're gonna start, always start with a compound. So we're gonna start with our uh, standard sumo deads. Sumo deads to really hit the glute knees and the hammies. And then we're gonna follow suit with single leg deads. So check out these two movements. This is how I start every single posterior chain day. All right, buckle up, because this is a lot of fun. I love the standard RDL. It's one of my favorite exercises for the whole glute. Here I'm in the Smith machine. You can definitely use a barbell, but I, I, this Smith machine is fucking dope. Big fan of it. I have my feet shoulder width, and I'm really thinking about driving those knees out. The band really helps with that mind-muscle connection, and I'm driving through the glutes and hamstrings. Next, we're going into the single leg deadlift. It's the same motion, except now we have isolation. Bring the bar about mid-shin, hug the bar tight to the knee, and make sure you're driving up through the glute and the hamstring. This is probably the best exercise to build mass on your glutes. Trust me, I'm the booty king. So important when you deadlift, if it's a standard or single leg, it's all about that hip hinge. You know, you gotta have that slight bend in the knee and it's, you're thrusting, it's not squatting. It's about thrusting your hips forward and you really engage the glutes and the hamstrings. And that's essentially what brings you up. That's why I like to start with the extension it's because you're mimicking that same movement, especially when we put load on the bar. No matter what leg day I'm training, we always hit the calves. And uh, me personally, I've always been a fan of the, the seated calf raise. Just, I like it, really good contractions. It's all about getting up on those tippy toes. You know, reach for the cookie jar. If you want calves, train them, it's that simple. Don't neglect them. 
I like to train calves at the beginning of my leg days compared to the end. It's the same as any other muscle. Heavy weight, high repetitions, get up on them tippy toes and really feel the contraction in the entire calf muscle. The seated is my personal favorite, but standing is another great option. Wow, man, we sweating right now. So after we finish our deads, we move into some hip lifts. I've always been a fan of a dumbbell hip lift over a barbell, just a little bit easier on my groin. Thank you, Carlo. Wait's always running away on me here. Cheers, bro, appreciate it. Anyway, dude, I was gonna say, one thing that will level you up in your booty days, it's a must have. <clears throat> if you guys saw me, booty dance. It's gonna add a lot of extra tension. It's gonna really get the glute to stimulate, and that's what we're after here. Hip lift, let's get it. Ah, the old hip lift, a classic. I prefer the dumbbell over the barbell, much easier setup. It just feels good, right, gentlemen? Anyway. It's all about, I like to take a wide sumo stance and I drive from the heel. I really think about driving those knees out. That is so important on a hip lift to really engage the glute med and pulse and keep the tension on the glute. It's been a great workout. We're gonna enter the machine portion. And this is one thing that's dope about Fitness World is they actually have like a booty section. So check it out. We're gonna be hitting the abduction machine. I love this machine. And then we got the, the lying hamstring curl. So we're gonna do a little superset back and forth and uh, gonna light it up. Money! This is a great machine. I sit off the seat. This is a little nutsy hack I do. It fits my body better. And I feel like I can get a better contraction with my ass off the seat. The big key here is to drive your knees into the pads to really engage the entire glute. Next to the lying hamstring curl, if you have it, it's better than the seated, but the seated will do. Drive that quad into the pad. You want no space. Keep that heel and toe curled in as you engage the entire hamstring. You should cramp up if you do it correctly. That's how intense a hamstring uh, contraction can be when you are doing it right. And finally, I like isolated because we always have a weaker side, so train them both evenly. What a leg day, or should I say booty day it's been. We've covered all the basics, and you all know what we finished with. My favorite exercise ever, the glute kickback, with my very own booty strap coming soon, so stay tuned to this. This is a, an exercise you need to master to unlock the peach. I do it many ways, but my traditional way is the step over. So watch closely as I perform the cable kickback with the step over. My favorite exercise ever, I love it, and the step over. You see that, how I'm stepping over the cable? I have a very cool strap here called the booty strap coming soon, get excited. But any traditional ankle strap will do. Make sure you're kicking out on that 45 degrees. Got a little stretch on. It's always important after the train that you static stretch. We start the day, like I said, with the foam rolling, and then we end the day with the static stretches. It's the old, uh, the old pigeon pose for the glutes. But uh, spend five minutes, man, 30 seconds of hold. No, don't neglect it, it's important. Alrighty, there we go. Another booty day in the books. Live in the gridiron here on Nunzi YouTube. Always a pleasure and honor. Stay tuned because I'm gonna be taking all of you guys live in the gym a lot more. I wanna show you guys all the secrets behind my madness. Been doing this for a minute. I appreciate you, I love you. If you're not excited, get excited. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you never miss a beat. Motivation, inspiration, training. We do it all, the Nunzi niche. Much love, amigos. Ciao. A little workout recap here. Let's start with that glute hyperextension. Stay low. I like to hit 50 reps on this bad boy to warm it up. And to our main lift on the day is our RDL deadlift. Five sets, 10 reps. Make sure we got a good heavy weight on that. Drive with those glutes and hamstrings as you pull through the motion. I do like to superset this with a single leg deadlift. However, you can treat them as working sets if not an option. Make sure you keep that bar tight to the body as you drive up to the glute and hamstring. Five sets, 10 reps. Seated calf raise for five sets, 20 reps. If you don't have the seated, standing is okay as well. The key here is to get up on those tippy toes and really contract the calf muscle. It will burn trust. The barbell or dumbbell hip lift. I prefer the dumbbell for comfort. Four sets, 12 reps. It's a nice bodybuilder range. Make sure you drive from the heel as always. The abduction machine, I like to vary it by standing up a little bit and bending forward. This allows for a better contraction. Three sets of 20. The lying hamstring curl or seated are fine. Three sets, 20 reps. Make sure you pull back with that heel. 
cable glute kickback, my personal favorite, three sets, 20 reps to polish off the glutes. Try the step over method for a real nice glute contraction. Now my friends, wraps up a Da Booty King booty day.